So this is WWV in Colorado at 25 megahertz. Um, interesting to see the shifting propagation with the seasons. Uh, this is something I hear almost, you know, very, very rarely in the summer. Um, I could say that May, June, July, and August are in general, unless there's some unusual sporadic e-skip or unusual propagation, uh, it is pretty much inexistent in the summers. That's why you have to be careful when you uh, want to check propagation against something like this because the shifting propagation sometimes means that for a certain amount of weeks or maybe a couple of months, that is not a frequency that you'll hear and it's going to come back. It's kind of a seasonal thing. You know, when I talk about, I got, you know, um, I go back in time and I have my summer listening and my winter listening and, uh, and every season has its own unique pattern. Uh, this is one part of, of, of all of this is 25 megahertz for me is associated much more with cold weather, winter, snow, uh, and in the summertime, it's, it's different. Um, I'm using uh, Simon's world map and uh, look at the perfect straight lines pretty much now that we have instead of the uh, curve. Uh, I mean, we are shifting uh, today or tomorrow. We're shifting into a next season now and the days and night are equal. And that's why the lines are actually pretty much straight. Uh, this is a representation of... Uh, our shift into uh, day night pretty much equal 12 hours everywhere on earth as then we'll move into longer nights in, nor in the northern hemisphere uh, shorter nights in the uh, southern hemisphere as they're going into spring and, and summer and that that shifts propagation quite a lot so it's kind of cool to have visuals of that also uh, this is is one of the cool things I often put this screen uh, with the map like this and when I do radio I got an idea of where it's daytime nighttime and so on it's kind of cool helps me also decide what frequency maybe I want to try on shortwave propagations so uh, just make sure that uh, when you uh, you know take a couple of signals because I always talk about we have our our standard beacons, the, sting, the signals that we actually go to to check propagation regularly. Remember that a lot of them have a shifting propagation that goes with, of course, the season. 